Start the process by removing the old gasket. Scrape with an old chisel. You can also use a putty knife. Continue to scrape until the majority of the old gasket is removed. Clean up any problem areas. Dump the fragments into a trash can. Make sure there are no ridges by removing them with a putty knife. Use a solvent such as lacquer thinner and a paper towel or rag to wipe away any of the remaining fragments of gasket and adhesive that are left on the rim. Use only nitrile gloves as the lacquer thinner will penetrate latex or other types of gloves and get into your skin. Continue cleaning until all of the gasket parts and adhesive have been removed. After the cleanup process is complete, make sure to put any of the towels or rags that you've used onto a non-combustible floor so they can air out. Take the new gasket and begin applying it by centering it on the flat of the manway cover. Stick one end down and work your way around, pressing the gasket with your hand as you go. Continue to remove the backing and work your way around the manway cover. When you reach the end, tear off most of the paper backing, but ensuring to leave enough backing that it overlaps the start point properly and prepare to make an angled cut. Use a box knife or X-Acto knife and make a cut that's at approximately 45 degrees over both layers of the gasket. Make sure to use a sharp knife or it will be hard to cut through. Remove the small piece from underneath and then remove the rest of the backing. Mate the two angled pieces up and push the gasket on the end into the start point to make a nice seal that is watertight. Take a putty knife or other utensil and push down firmly all the way around the gasket to ensure good contact between the manway cover and the adhesive. Then reinstall the float sensor and stem into the manway cover. Take the nut, put the wire through, and tighten the nut onto the sensor stem. Hand tight is perfectly acceptable. There's no reason to use tools here. Lastly, ensure the float still moves freely and reinstall.